What's going on everybody? This is round two of Core Conversations for today. We had Dan Miller at eight o'clock for a great conversation, so check out the replay for that. I'm just gonna hang out for a few minutes and then we'll sign off and I'll see you tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So Chloe Buncher is tomorrow, Dan Baker was today. Dan, you're still kicking around, nice. And um, yes, and then we have um, Oh, and we had Raphael yesterday. So this is our Aussie takeover, and this is just my freestyle right now. Just hang out for a few minutes. And uh, thank you again, Dan, for joining me earlier, and for Tammy as well. Man, I feel like it's like football doing two days. I have two tomorrow as well uh, with Chloe at um, had Chloe at six a.m. tomorrow, and also Virgil at ten o'clock. So we have uh, two core conversations coming up tomorrow as well. Just some good people, right? So just really enjoying these chats. What's going on, Sunny? And uh, it's it's been really fun to just get that perspective. Um, and the Australian perspective and, and what's important and so many things are similar and as Dan and I were talking about earlier the importance of just like the cues and the connections and the people and and when you get down to the core of it that experience for the the person uh, is so key so I really appreciate uh, him joining us Jay Spring 84 what's going on thank you again for buying me a coffee last week or this week earlier this week it seems like it was like a long it's been like one of those weeks where like so many different things have happened talk about a crazy week in terms of just like the emotional highs and lows of just navigating through this week and I've had some really rich conversations that weren't even scripted in terms of Tasha and Michelle um, you know my piece yesterday on we are here and, and then my my Aussie peeps who've been joining me all week. So I'm just really grateful to all of you for the ways that you've joined. Oh, Jenna Zafino jumping in yesterday as well. We are, um, this is a movement. This really is a movement where we're supporting um, people and just empowering people and letting people know that we are here. Yeah, I'm not gonna do another sermon today. I think that was, that was plenty for yesterday. Check out the comments too. Some really amazing comments and powerful things that people are saying. And um, yeah, no, I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, what we're talking about there is uh, buymeacoffee.com. I'll put it in the chat. Not because I'm soliciting for myself here, but I would definitely check this out. So go to www.buymeacoffee.com. Uh, coffee. Hi, Meryl. Actually, Meryl, if you want to join me on screen, I'd love to. Um, you said like you sent me a really, really nice message this morning, just about that we are here. If you want to join me on screen and just elaborate on that, or just share your reflection on that, I think that might be something that beneficial for people. So I just put in uh, buymeacoffee.com. If you are doing a project, um, you have a podcast, you're working on some things, and you want to have a platform where you can so get people to support you, buymeacoffee.com is a platform where people can, uh, you can set the price and then they can buy you a coffee by giving you a donation of like $5, $3, $10, whatever it is. And just that small increment, it adds up over time. So you could buy me one coffee or two coffees or three coffees. And then that's sent as a PayPal, and that just goes into an account. So you're basically just giving money to someone. You're donating. You're supporting a cause. So I use buymeacoffee.com to support core conversations. And the way that I do it is quite simply, there's a, a podcast fee. There are some admin fees, some certain things that come up with this. There's not a lot of money, and I don't make a big ask with it. But when people approach me like, how can I support core conversations? I just made this this as a vehicle to, for people to support. So Tasha said, like, you know what? I'm gonna buy you a coffee, and then, and then other people also went back to that, that website and then were able to support. So 
you know, I may make $15, $20, $30, and that's more than enough to just cover some of the costs of writing this podcast, which I do, one, to connect everybody, and two, also for myself, to be able to have these introductions and to be on a first name basis and a friend basis with someone like Meryl in Germany. Guess what? I am going to go to Germany at some point. I'm going to go hang out, work out, and do those things. So this is opening up the world for me as well as it is opening up the world for you. So buymeacoffee.com, sign up and use that as a way to support your business. Uh, you slash Martin Reed is if you want to give to me, but I just want you to use that for yourself. Hello, my friend. Hi there. <laughs> How you How doing? Are you? You're doing well. Um, I I have to say, I, I feel like I've poured out so much this week in such a good way that it's like good energy, but yeah. tiring at the same time. So responsive by copy. That's how we roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's a lot. Hey, it's Ruben. like collective like heaviness and this is what I meant when I uh, listened to what you sent me and I was just like man there, there was so many years I mean and I, I forget someone was talking about yeah 30 years 35 years yeah that's me just in the corner doing my thing, being the only brown person in the room forever and ever and ever and often and often and just being like, well, that's how it is. I just, you know, got to keep going and just stand my ground and do what I love. And mm -hmm. just when I meet another one, like when I met Juliana, for example, at the uh, at some Pilates convention here in Germany and she was an African woman that worked at Power in Hamburg. And I, and I was just like, hi, <laughs> who are you? <laughs> you know? Yes, you're like destined yeah. to be friends, right? Like, Yeah, it's just, um, it's not easy, you know? I mean, it's not something that I was constantly thinking about or, you know, but it was always there didn't ever really talk about it with anyone it was just because i didn't know any black teachers here you know yes. or of color like there weren't any for years people yes. didn't even know what pilates was <laughs> right when i came yeah. here <laughs> so but um yeah it's super important to have uh, a you know, a group to have support, to have a place where you can just vent and et cetera, yes. et cetera. So um, it just really, I just really felt it yesterday, you know, like that was, yeah, like, yeah it's, it's a big deal. And we've been here and we're going to be there. here right? and we got to support each other all the time. That's it. You know, and I'm yes. so glad that I found you. I don't even know how I found you, but I just, you just popped up one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't. Yeah, can't and I was like, oh, what's this? <laughs> so, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. That, that support piece, right? Like, you know, we, it's one thing, like Jason Williams sent me a message after and he's like, that duality of life is like, we've been here and we are here and we've always been here, but now we're here. Like, you know, <laughs> there's a sense right. of like, of all those things happening. And um, th the other piece to it that comes out of it is another, I'm just getting some messages from people and really, really positive stuff is how are we supporting one another beyond, you know, like reposting this or liking it? Like, are we, are we continue like if you post something, I gotta make sure that I'm being that much more intentional to just hit that like or to repost it or whatever, and just to kind of keep everybody's momentum going. So, mm -hmm. so that way we're we're just elevating that message, and we're even playing with those algorithms in terms of just how Instagram or whatever works. Um, or if you have a class, like I try, like you know, someone has a class, I try and just take a picture, a snapshot of it, and then put it back up. Are we doing that to repost and just continue to? reinforce the fact that we're here mm -hmm. yeah that's one way yeah. right so mm -hmm. what i try so, and do 
Yeah, yes. I have to repost it. I've been running around all day. I just got home. But I'm going <laughs> to repost it. <laughs> but that's real talk, right? Everyone's running around. Everyone's doing it. And that's not your excuse. I mean, I think that that's what happens, that we get so caught up in all this stuff. It's like, I think, for me, I need to to continue to just make that part of what I do. If I'm scrolling through, just get that like, or like do those things that, that just echo and just that that word, right? But yeah. Um, that's, that's I mean, we are surviving. Things. We have to make a living and at the same time pay attention to what's going on. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a constant juggling game. It's, it's, that's just the lay of the land, but it's a yes. pleasure also. It's not something that's yes. taxing or, you know, whatever. Yeah. I, I, I enjoy reposting. I enjoy like, learning about new people like there's so many great people out there you know there's more than enough room to keep supporting one another and just you know yes. expanding our awareness of one another yes absolutely yeah. yes yeah so so thank you for that note this morning like that was encouraging to hear that it it is resonating mm -hmm. with people um, I watch it and almost like choke up in the same spot I choked up at when I was saying <laughs> yeah. it the first time. right? Like, <laughs> it, it, that just hit me. I mean, like, he's, I don't know how else to say it, but like, for those who are watching, I, I, we talk about representation, and it's not like you go through life looking for, like, you figure, like, you could just, I, I don't know how to, just, how to explain this, but like, I'm fine on my own. But when I see, someone else that looks like me then something leaps up inside of you and you're like oh that's so cool i need to talk to that other black male plotting and stretcher mm -hmm. you know what i mean or that like like i said like the four like the four kings like there's someone from a different industry altogether but still going through that struggle and decided to take the leap and get a his own plot his own like art studio right like you're doing those like that, those all those steps that we're going through in a different space, and like all the things. So I, I that just really hit me in the fact that like here is another young black man trying to do his own thing and not work for somebody, but also chase after his own vision, mm -hmm. give give his vision expression, and see how far he can go on his own. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that's the thing that you know even now say it almost chokes me up again. Like you, you see that, and you're like, man, that's just like we need to just have those images out there for someone who is earlier in that game and trying to do this thing, get some, yeah. hope from the, you know, get some hope from the fact that I'm at this point in the process and you can get to this point at least. And I hope that you surpass me. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, very important. Very important. So mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. so it was good. It, it felt good to just see people just, get that message out there you know so yeah it was just a great conversation the, i mean there's been uh, there's been a number of great conversations they're all yeah. encompassing and super uh enlightening to hear what everyone's yeah. going through you yep. know there's some great people out there so yeah totally uh, yeah yeah cool anyway well i will not keep you i feel like i hijack people's time on like this little free free stuff no right? i'm always down that's fun that's great i'm glad i i had time mm -hmm. and um yeah just keep doing what you do we just keep on keeping on yep. <laughs> i'm gonna come to toronto and visit you and jay yes. and everybody and <laughs> someday yes just we'll make hang that out happen. and uh learn from y'all mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Great. Well, thank you so much. Okay, Martin. Have a great day. <laughs> thank you, too. Ciao. There you go. Kels, how are you? Robert Esme, Speed Doctor 96. How are you? That name sounds familiar, Robert. Where? Robert, you're in the Tor Toronto area, right? I'm thinking like we've uh, I'm trying to think where I know you from. Anyway, 
if you're still here um, and you want to jump on screen, join me. Kells as well, you're more than welcome to join me. This is, I feel like this is the same as yesterday where I was like, oh, I'll just do a freestyle for a few minutes and then just have these you know, fun people show up. So if uh, Speed Doctor 96 if you want to join me, give me a thumbs up. I'll invite you on the screen. Same thing for Kells if you're around. For those of you who don't know who uh, Kel McClellan Pilates is, Kelsey is one of the first people to really challenge me in my Pilates work and inspire me to dive deeper because she, in her Pilates for men or Pilates for athletes class, just kicks my butt. Oh, she's in the airport. Nice. <laughs> okay. All good. We need to get our workout in. We did, that didn't happen in the last few weeks, but we'll figure that out when you get back or whatever the story is. So for those of you who um, missed it earlier, yes, uh, yeah, I was going to say, check that out. The Australian conversation with Dan earlier today was really fun. It has a great story. And we really danced around a little bit of some sensitive topics that I felt were important to talk about, just in terms of how we navigate conflict and, and differing visions and moving on and, you know, we didn't touch on burnout per se. We didn't say that we're burnout, but that sense of just feeling like you need to just change direction and then coming back to it with a new sense of vision and passion and how his kind of plot, his journey is going. So watch that. I hope you're inspired by it. I hope that it, it kind of pushes you along in terms of what you're doing with your work. Um, Cause he has a great story and it's just by his fans in the chat. It looks like he's, he has a great team and great people that are supporting him in that area of Canberra, Canberra. I gotta check it out. I gotta look it up. Australia. So, yes. And we have Chloe tomorrow. So, Chloe Buncher is joining us tomorrow morning. It's gonna be at 6 a.m. We did a freestyle uh, early a couple of weeks ago and it was super fun. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna do it here or do it in Starbucks. Like, I was not sitting on a patio at Starbucks last time I did it on a Friday morning. Um, so, we'll figure that part of it out and it'll just be a fun chat as always. We have some like great people who are always around. Joel, I really appreciate you. And Meryl and others. So that's about it. Just want to make it nice and light and free. Beth, I see you as well. Thank you so much for all of you joining us. And see you guys tomorrow morning or on the replay if you don't feel like waking up at 6 a.m. And we are out.